What's going on guys? My name is Tetra Ninja and this is gonna be my let's play walkthrough of the original Mass Effect. I know this game was released some time ago, many many years, and this is kind of to get us set up for Mass Effect 3 which will be releasing in a couple months. So my plan is to get Mass Effect 1 and 2 done and then we'll be ready for 3. And the reason why I'm doing this is because, first off, a lot of PlayStation players didn't get a chance to watch Mass Effect gameplay because they didn't get the game, uh, because it was only on Xbox. And as well, I haven't experienced the series yet myself, so I'm kind of excited. Hope I've heard good things about the game, and I haven't seen too many Let's Plays in high quality on YouTube, so I thought I'd try to make one for myself. But anyways, uh, that's enough talking, let's get started. We got some epic music going on right now. Like an angel. Hard drive. Start Welcome new career. to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. OG names only, please. Please log in to access your profile reconstruction complete. Identification confirmed. Normal. Subtitles on, actually, yes. Autosave, yes. Shepard, Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on the cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. So if you're wondering, no I have not played any of the series yet, which is why we're going to play 1 and 2 before 3 comes out. I didn't want to jump into 3 a complete noob and not know anything about the series. So, and I heard that this game's awesome, so I might as well. One powerful sperm. Jeez. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sink engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. 
I don't like having him on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> Mr. Computer. Journal. Prologue on the Normandy. Codex. Got my background profile here. Looks like it. All right. Oh, can't shoot anything yet. <laughs> Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, sir, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? All we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Why don't you investigate it? You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the Captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's Let's see kind of here. Like I'm assuming this guard is protecting the captain. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. What else can you tell me? This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. 
But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. <coughs> What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! Definitely dead. Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. They... Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. They know something that we Tell don't Lango know. Tell Lego and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Ship perimeter secure. Let's see here. So it's an RPG with action adventure and shooter elements. I like it. I like it a lot. Press and hold left bumper to switch weapons for your squad. Ah, I see.
Lancer. You're gonna be a sniper. You're good there. So many weapon choices right off the bat. That's why we sent him in first, isn't it? Whoa. Come on. Don't shoot my guy in the back. There we go. He's down for sure. Rip right through his shields. Ran a chance. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. That's what. That's right, Shepard. Keep that morale up. Show like, show that you care. the drone good got Oops. some burned out buildings here Shepard a lot of bodies I'm gonna check it out I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site upgrade kit always like armor upgrades Push forward. Uh oh. Let's see here. Controls feel very, very good, considering it was a game from a long time ago. Well, a couple years ago, anyways. I want to actually try this weapon. Got to test out. Oh, test out everything here. Come on. Steady that in, Nick. Oh, overheat. Overheat, overheat. Wow, sniper overheats so easily. Go back to the pistol. Whoa. Push forward here, help to check out. We'll talk later. Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns, nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. 
Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Move out. <laughs> Hope she doesn't die. Liking the Lancer first. Basic rounds? What's this? Alright, let's see this here. Equipment gear. Okay. These are weapons. Why would I? Oh, this one has better shields. And tech biotic protection. Why not? Okay. Let's check out my squad. I have six points. Invested all in assault rifles first. There you go. Two soldier points. Good. All right, Ashley. How many do you have? First aid. Oh, that's good. Oh, can't do first aid. Let's see. Okay. Then one in combat armor. Good. And hopefully you don't die. We need a we need a nerd and a first aider. Nice. You can be my healer. Alright. Sweet. Actually, she actually make sure good. She's <laughs> make sure that she's actually using an assault rifle. There's nothing there to shoot. There you go. Oh, get sniped. Nades. Press A and hold while moving to storm. Whoa! That is what we call the drill rush. Not now, Commander. I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm trying to push forward. Not in the middle of a fight! How we doing? Good? We good. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Saving content for days. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. Ooh, hello. Assault rifle too, thank you. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Hmm. 
But that's going to be an extra long episode to kind of get the series off uh, to a very good start. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the series. Like I said, my goal is to get Mass Effect 1 and 2 done before the release of Mass Effect 3. If that means that you guys are going to get half hour to 45 minutes of uh, videos, then uh, that will be it. Maybe it will go up to an hour. But thank you guys for watching. And as always, if you enjoy the video and you, you are going to enjoy the series and you're excited for Mass Effect 3, uh, please give the video a quick rating. Just let me know. And I'll see you guys next time for some more Mass Effect. All right. Have a fantastic day.